Going green is big business these days, and state leaders have big hopes for renewable energy technology. Now the waste treatment facility in Hopewell says it's got a plan that could help clean up the Chesapeake Bay and produce biofuel as a byproduct. CBS 6 senior reporter Wayne Koval joins us with the story. Wayne? Bill, algae, like in this bottle, is the enemy of the James River and the Chesapeake Bay, but using this to take nitrogen out of wastewater could help clean up both. And what's left over could help reduce our dependency on foreign oil, which is why many are keeping a close eye on the Hopewell experiment. A $600,000 stimulus grant is paying for this experiment. While it's only in its third month, the success so far is drawing the attention of state leaders. If this works, and it, and it looks like it is, we could take 1.8 million pounds of nitrogen that otherwise would flow into the James River, and it, it goes, it's sucked up by the algae, and then the win-win part of this is that algae then can be sold for biofuel. It's this unique experiment, the only one of its kind in the world, that has so many people interested and watching carefully. To use algae to consume the nitrogen in the wastewater, the algae that's our enemy in the river might therefore be our friend in a treatment process. While it's still in its infancy, Something get rid of the nitrogen. some like Senator Mark Warner see the potential if the experiment proves to be an inexpensive way to reduce nitrogen in wastewater. If it's a win, I gotta tell you, as somebody who spent my career before I got into politics, investing in early stage startups, this could be a home run. For Hopewell, whose identity is often linked to the negative side of industry, green is not the first word that comes to mind. To take from what we used to be the chemical capital of the South to maybe being the, the green energy capital of, of the United States or even the world. And if the algae works, going green could bring new jobs, new businesses, and less foreign oil. The algae that grows in doing this process is a valuable byproduct, and there are companies out there that want to take the algae and convert it into uh, fuels and green coal. It's not just wastewater that has to reduce nitrogen levels to protect the James River and Chesapeake Bay. Agriculture and stormwater runoff have to address the same issues. As for algae, if this experiment is a success, it could be five years before a full-scale operation is started. Stephanie.